Okay, so the first part of this little operation with our UH stepper motor here is we have to separate all the coils because they were all uh, interconnected in some form or another. Um, so, as you can see here, we have eight wires all together, which means we have four coils, two on one side, two on the other. So this makes our job a little easier. What we're going to do first is determine uh, which wires are for which coils. And we can simply do this with our ohms meter or uh, just using a continuity test on the uh, digital multimeters. So we'll go ahead find out what's what. And what we'll do to start with, with this motor here, we may try something a little different. We'll see if we can get it to run with one run coil and one trigger coil which will leave us two coils one on each side and we may even set up a separate circuit for those two coils so we'll basically have uh, two run coils and two trigger coils but um, they'll be running on a separate circuit so maybe the flyback from one can go to the run battery of the other and the flyback from the other and go to the run battery for the first one. But we'll see if we can get it going on uh, one coil set first and see if it will actually go. Not quite sure with this kind of a setup, but uh, I see no reason why it shouldn't. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll come back to it. Well, we've got it up and running, and I must say, nothing too impressive about this motor at all other than the fact that it actually works. Um, we're using only one out of the two coils for the run and one out of the two for the trigger. We possibly could use one for the trigger and the other three for the run, but um, at the moment just one coil being used as the run coil and one coil being used as a trigger and the other two, oh that's a bit tingly. The other two <laughs> are, um, of course, open down here and used for nothing. Now, the one thing about this motor is the voltage across the collector emitter is very high, 236 volts. Now, peak to peak voltage. It's uh, fairly hungry on the current draw, it's 132 milliamps, about 24 volts. And the reason for that we can see here is that our on time, which is the section of the line on zero volts, is uh, well, well, very close to 50%, which is why there's such a high current draw. Uh, can't tune it much, can't run it on any voltage lower than 20 and the reason for that is because there's 36 ohms across each one of those coils so a very high resistance and the wire there is very small and it was a little headache and fiddly to uh, solder the strip cable onto those wires but it does work as we can see, and the voltage on the flyback is very high. And that voltage actually does come out of the open coils, and of course, it's due to, this, to uh, the transformer inductance uh, situation. So it does work, the motor has absolutely no torque at all. So, um, Nothing really special to report about this motor, other than I have a good source of um, wire should I need something that small. But uh, hey, it actually works. So, uh, there you go. I don't think I'm going to go much further with this because this is not a uh, very efficient motor. As far as uh, using it with this circuit goes. 
But anyway, there it is up and running. Coils wrapped around the rotor and it works. So it uh, basically works by switching the magnetic field of the three plates. Um, we have a situation where we could create a north on one outside plate and north on the other outside plate and a south, a very strong south on the centre plate uh, using the bucking effect. And um, each one of these plates here has little notches around the inside of them that coincide with the magnets on the rotor. So that's basically how that one works. But um, nothing too special about that one other than it actually runs and the voltage coming off it is very high. Of course everything you do with the output here um, reflects on the motor itself due to the transformer effect. So uh, anything we try and take out of there is going to be reflected on our motor torque and also the power input. So not much we can do with that either. I guess uh, this part about this experiment was seeing it run. And, um, the other thing about it, it does get fairly warm fairly quick, so uh, it's not a good motor set up using this system. But anyway, it's fun trying it. So uh, we'll move on to something else and see what we can find. Cheers guys.